Well, hey, y'all. This is Willie. Uh, and, um, you know, when we're watching other videos and we see people's glass cooktops, kind of like the one we have here, and it is filthy and with buildup of food on it, that always bothers me. And I don't know why it bothers me. I guess it shouldn't. But you know what? We don't have that at my house because... We use these three things, well, I use these two things, three things. There's some scraper, some paper towel, and some method. And I wanted to give somebody a quick tutorial on how I do it. You can see that Debbie's been in the kitchen and she has cooked a delicious, delicious meal for us. And I am highly appreciative, always appreciative. Um, in 30 plus years, I have never come home and said, what's for dinner? Because, you know, she, you know, you know, Debbie, she really takes care of us and makes sure that we have enough to eat and that we always have something delicious and nutritious to eat. So the least I can do is wipe the stove off. You see, I use um, my method. I, I make sure that the, the countertop or the cooktop is covered in, in method and it soaks in for a little bit. And then I take the, scr the scrubber and scrub it, you know, and, and, and get the food off of it. And, and, and it's important that you cover the entire cooktop there. You want to go all the way up and you want to get in the corners and you want to make sure that you cover the whole thing because it's a, it's a big piece of glass. Yeah, you don't want to scrape it too hard uh, if, if that's even possible, but you want to make sure that you get everywhere on the cooktop and get, and get all the food of it off of it because you don't want the cooktop to heat and bake the food on to the um, to the top of the stove, and because then, then once it gets cooked in there, it becomes super hard to get out. And sometimes we, we use a razor blade um, to get those stubborn pieces off. All right, now that I've covered it, now I've got a a, a wet dish towel, and I'm going to get a lot of the soap off of it because it's the same thing. You don't want the soap to stay on it either, because you don't want the soap to get cooked onto the uh, on onto the glass. So I'm getting as much of the soap off as I possibly can with a wet dish towel. And um, as you can see, I'm also getting in the corners there because that's important. That's where the food will build up and you don't want that either. Uh, so I'm getting as much off as I can. And then we'll just take some regular old paper towels. And here we go. Here's a paper towel to get the rest of the soap off and shine this bad boy up. Um, so you'll always have a, a deliciously beautiful cooktop. We've had this cooktop for a number of years now, and we're going to have it for a number of more years. So you wouldn't get down in, you know, get down in, 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 the, in, in the little um, gaps there to make sure you get all the food out. And make sure that you give it a nice shine. There you go. It's nice and clean, and it looks good on video, and you're making sure that it looks good in your home. You know, that's one of the, I don't have many, I don't have many chores here, but it's one of those chores that, that I have that I really enjoy. I like coming home and seeing a nice, clean uh, cooktop. How about you? Looks good.